We would plan week-long hackathons, a week long. We would have people from the business, um, engineers, product managers, commercial managers, sales managers. We'd bring in our UX leads, our business modelers, our people researchers, our software developers. We would choreograph it carefully and we would come with a half-cooked concept. And in that week, we would stay up quite late, uh, eat a lot of pizza, drink quite a bit of wine, um, and ultimately we would work to build a prototype by Thursday night because on the Friday we would bring real consumers into the business. So we might do things like, I remember we worked with the personal care business within Philips and they had um, a product called Visipure that was a facial cleanser, rotating head facial cleanser and we sellotape literally an NFC chip to it because that allowed us to kind of collect data on how frequently you cleansed and how hard you cleansed and how that data could be useful as part of a facial care regime. Um, so people would be writing code, mocking up apps, figuring out business models, and then we'd have senior people from the business come into that hackathon. In China, we built a smart air purifier and we, we did that hackathon in Shanghai. So we had the opportunity where we would literally fly in and team up with a local team. And essentially what we were able to do was to take a process that would normally be six months or nine months and compress it into a few weeks, give the business enough insight, knowledge through the hackathon and the prototype to then give them the conviction to go and launch the product for real.